the survey sites, Nandini, Rajdi, some cricketing grades of uh, yesteryear. Plenty of colleagues I see here who I grew up with playing cricket. Colleagues in the media as well. And of course, ladies and gentlemen. I happened to be in Tirupati when my phone rang. And it said, Rajdeep Sarvesai. And I said it to my mind, so what does the nation demand now? <laughs> and uh, Rajdeep said, uh, are you free on the 6th of uh, September? It's a uh, guy's lecture, and I'd like you to be uh, part of it. I, mean, I didn't even bat an eyelid. Once I knew that I was in town. And then, of course, 39 emails later from Nandini. And sure, then I tell Johnny will stay and uh, be part of the evening. Now, you can't miss it for anything because Sadi Man, as we call him, was uh, one heck of a character. I mean, he was a Mumbai in the real uh, sense of the word. He was an extrovert. He was jovial. And he always had a wise crack up his sleeve. Vision of him in the dressing room would have good fun. And one thing with uh, the he uh, was always out there to encourage the officers. You know, it was a trait in him that was inbuilt, it wasn't put on. He would just walk up to any youngster if he liked it or if he had something to tell him. And uh, was pretty brutal and honest about what he had to say. Whether it was good or whether the bloke wouldn't like it, and uh, he expected them to treat that criticism, you know, constructively. I still remember a couple of incidents where, uh, as a youngster, just behind this ground, uh, just before I made it to the Mumbai team in the Ranji Trophy, I remember a push up from Shield final game going on. It was not a final, it was a, a quarter final. I think it was Karnatak versus uh, MB Union. And he was standing under the tree, just outside the entrance here, because that's where MB Union is. And uh, I was pretty close to getting into that Bombay side, and uh, I was on the way to a double hundred. And uh, just when I was 130, 140, I saw him standing under the tree, and that really caught your juices going. Because uh, he had words to tell me when I wasn't picked for an under 22 team, and uh, the words were pretty positive. So I said, now, you know, here I am, 130 back in, you know, let him show, let me show him what I'm going to do as a It wasn't long uh, later that he walked up to me and said, I was watching. And I said, I knew you were watching. And I knew the word would spread pretty quickly because it was cutting well. And uh, somehow, that's one quality a lot of Mumbai figures had. Tremendous self-confidence. You know, when you knew you were going well, you uh, jolly well knew that uh, people would appreciate it. All you needed was a stage and then take over from there. 